Hi YouTube. I have an RTX 4060 here, GeForce, and it's not working properly. One of the memory chips is bad, basically. This is the replacement I just received from China. I'm gonna be replacing it. I already tried to fix one, and it had it had missing. Basically, what happened most likely is it got uh, transported not properly or uh, most likely that's what happened then the these chips they got uh, ripped off from the mother from the from the board and some pads were missing on that on that on chips so i already uh, tried to fix it but it you know it, there's two there are two that damaged one i fixed another one was still giving me issues and this is what basically happens as you can see it's not working properly so i'm gonna boot from from my uh, mods mats diagnostic tool and run it's gonna run the test and uh, it's gonna show me which memory chip is bad and I know I know already know which one it is because I already messed with it. You know I was just waiting for a replacement chip to show up. Yeah, it's failed. So. Forgot. Yeah, I forgot how to. You, you can actually see that uh, that report txt uh, uh, file, and you can see from the screen without removing and 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 taking the hard drive connecting to a different computer and check the report txt file. I actually forgot. I need to double check how to view that file on the actual computer. But I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect my drive connected to the upper computer and the read the report txt file oh here's the report that was generated so we have the second chip this this air 64 32 32 they're kind of normal I, I mentioned it on the other video card that was totally fine i think it, it just depends on the on the, on the motherboard there if you have uh if you can boot it in the compatibility mode or not, I, I could not boot that drive from the compatibility mode on that particular motherboard, and that's why I show up those errors. But usually, uh, usually those are, uh, in my case, those 64, 32, 32, that, you know, they're fine. So this is the one that's giving me a, a issue. So it's FBI uh, uh, A1. So this is the A1 chip. That's giving me issues so i'm going to show you where it is located and this is this is the chip right here if you look at the um at the nvidia board the way it is pictures here um i'll show you my board in a little bit but this is the first one actually so okay so this is my card and if you look at the nvidia chip with the uh pin number one in this position this would be my bad chip and originally this particular chip was actually sitting here and this one was sitting here so uh that one had only a couple pads uh, missing so I, uh, I i fixed it and i put it you know on, in that position that was giving me uh, errors as well so now it's not giving me any errors so this is good so that's the one basically we need to take out and replace it with the one I just received. So just gonna confirm, make sure it has the same numbers and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this chip from here.
as you can see on this chip I already tried to fix it but it was basically too damaged so that's the deal with that one so let me clean it up I want to still leave I'm not gonna wreck it because I still want to leave a little bit of let it solder on the pads because this is let it fall let it solder here yeah. That should do. And clean it up. So see this one. And moved, add a little bit flux. Oh, it's moving. 
Beautiful. Okay. So let's see if it's gonna do the trick. The moment of truth. Yeah. yeah, I think I got it going. Hmm. Let me run the mods again. Okay, so here we have our NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 that was just fixed. There's no artifacts anymore. Moving up the valley benchmark run on extreme settings Let's see what's going to happen okay beautiful fps 103 the fans kicked in beautiful Okay, very nice. I need to put it together actually because I was still apart. All right. See what we have. It's still gonna fail though, most likely, because as I said, you know, it failed on a perfectly working card on this motherboard. But it's most likely not gonna show us any more errors like that. It's still gonna fail. But it doesn't mean it failed. Yeah, still fail, but let me check again on on the other computer and see what's going on there. These are the errors that it's shown me: seven two seven two three two three two three two. So, and this is this is should be normal. It's definitely not the one that was going on there before. And as I said, it failed because on this uh, motherboard, this particular motherboard, I, for some reason I cannot put it into the compatibility mode and that's why it's kind of giving me these errors but uh, the chip is definitely performing properly and we should be good to go thanks very much for watching guys if you like my videos please subscribe and as always have a lovely day bye